Hello, hello, it's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal and Mindless Crafting and... Bill. <laughs> Bill, you're supposed to say that with excitement. It's Bill! Well, I'll let you do that for me. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see who's on here. Let's see if you can hear us okay and see clearly. Just making sure that y'all are in the room. And see who's there in our craft room today. And so I'm just setting up. Look at all these lovely scraps of paper. Absolutely love this. Donna Sadley is here. And so if we, it told me I wasn't connected, but I think we're okay. So if we happen to um start buffering just refresh your screen all right so yeah so i am going to be this is our normal normal regular live we're going to be doing tuesdays at 12 noon and thursdays at 7 p.m for those of you that hadn't heard yet those are going to be our regularly scheduled lives now that does not mean that we're not going to just come on, you know, we might do an impromptu live, like if we're like at Dollar Tree or maybe at one of the other stores or we're just out and about, or we just want to come on and we just inspired to do some mindless crafting. So all of these um, beautiful scraps here, I've been working my way through making cards with them. And I know many of you have challenges when you're trying to make your cards. Uh, what should you do uh, with them? What ideas? So I thought, you know what? This will be great to show you something, some uh, idea, making a card. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using this as my base. And I'm going to take uh, some of my scraps and cut them so that they can fit on here. So let's see. Yesterday I was experimenting with this and I made a card. I don't want to show you to the end because that would spoil the surprise. But I want to make another card that's similar to the one I previously made. So all I did is got in my craft room and I just started creating. So I'm going to cut this down even more. Oh, there you go, Bill. I guess it's working, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to cut this maybe to around one inch let's see hopefully that'll be fine but i'm if it's mindless crafting it's okay so i'm cutting this even further here and i'm not reading the comments bill is going to be reading the comments once he gets everything set up we're up there but i'm going to just kind of be looking i'm going to be looking here at my desk for right now but i'll i'll Look at the comments every so often. Okay, so let's make some smaller strips here. Let's see. I want to see how long I want these to be on my card. So maybe cut this down to about... I just want this to be shorter. So I'm not going to really think about it. Just be measuring it and all of that. Also, I want to be able to create patterns, too. So I'll be using one of the fall stamp sets to give you all some fall inspiration. Yeah, let's cut it down just a little bit more. By the way, Kathy Chan was doing well after her surgery. Okay, great. Shout out to Kathy Champion, who is having surgery. She's one of our moderators, so we're praying for speedy recovery and a painless recovery. That's the other thing, right? Pain management. And hopefully she'll be back in our craft room again soon. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So I want to be able to use my strips to decorate my card. Like that. I'm trying to be stuck in here. Oh, okay. I'm hearing some echoing there, but that should be good to go soon. Okay, so maybe something like that, right? But I want to create a pattern coming down the middle here. So y'all are still with me here? Okay. 
Uh, let's see. I'm just looking at your comments. <laughs> if you see me pause for a moment, I'm looking at your comments. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we got this here. I'm going to go ahead and create a pattern of leaves. I've been pretty addicted to making fall cards lately just because. So I'm going to start at the top here. And let's see, kind of go this way with my leaves, right down the middle. Now, it doesn't have to be exact, but I want to create a pattern going down the middle here. And I'll be releasing a video using this similar technique as well. I'm just going right down the center. You're just alternating this. So this is like what I call my leaves blowing in the wind. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm using that for. So just right down the center there. And then I'm, I've am i got the picture in my mind is to have two strips on each side. Just like that. Okay. So let me see what y'all are saying. Okay, everyone's wishing uh, Kathy a speedy recovery. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking about right now. Let me go ahead and color this in real quick. And use a little bit of the orange and stuff on here. That orange and green. All right, so I'm just coloring the middle, and I've got a video, uh, a video tutorial coming out today. So give, trying to give y'all some fall card inspiration, and this stamp for any of you that are that want to know, this stamp set is the Happy Fall stamp set, and I'm using that blowing leaves um, image on there. So I think this is really cute for creating patterns. So you can fill up your whole card with this if you want to. Okay, so. So you see, I'm just doing that inner part and then the outer part, I'm just going to go in with a green color. Let's get my green marker here. Y'all can't see it, but my desk is actually a mess. Because <laughs> I've been recording videos. I'm going to have lots of tutorials coming up for y'all. I'm super happy about that. And many of you have already informed me that you received your um your orders for your for the new fall stamp set. Or I should say fall stamp sets. And so I'm super excited for you to get started. So I, I'm trying to get as many videos out so that you'll have enough inspiration to create your own cards. Yeah, and I am loving the way this is turning out. And I'm, of course, I'm using my Tumbo markers, y'all. Okay. Let's see. All right, Shannon Garcia is new to the channel. Oh. She says, Bill, please say hi, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> Everyone tell Shannon hello. Hey, Shannon, we're glad to have you with us. It's been taking me this long just to get everything set up, so I've been kind of quiet. Yeah, he's quiet because he's setting up, but once he gets on a roll, he'll get on a roll. And we're trying to keep this to an hour long. <laughs> oh, we're going to do it. Today. It's y'all fault, okay? Yeah, because we got we've got orders to get out. We've got some of y'all's orders, a bunch of them, to get out to y'all. Let me go back in the past and see what I missed here. Bunch of hellos. Hello, everyone. Donna says, Where's Bill? Here I am. He's there. He's he's Susan setting up. Stewart is back. <clears throat> I haven't seen Stu Susan in a second. 
I'm loving the way this green looks. I must have missed you, Susan. With the orange, I'm really loving the way that looks. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take these two strips here and just put them on the sides here. So your card could actually, if you want it to go that way, it can, but it can also go this way. So just to give this a little bit more, what I'm going to do is, look, I got to do this, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to add some dimension to these. And these scraps are from, let's see, the paper. I guess I need to show that, huh? The that scraps are from Fall Market. These are the two paper packs I've been using. Fall Market and Fall Break. So that's the two that I've been using for, for these. So I'm, I'm trying to use all the scraps because I want this paper to go a long way because it's so beautiful. And guess what? We carry these in our store. This one I had to reorder the fall break, but the fall market is still in our store. So you want to grab that up. <clears throat> fall break, I'm actually going to be putting that. Um, I've got an order coming in. Hopefully it'll be here by the end of the week. Hopefully. <laughs> also, congratulations to Lori Bokatin. She's recovering from her surgery yesterday. She says, you two are helping my recovery. Oh, nice. I'm from Michigan, my hometown, my home state. That's, Bill's, that's Bill's place. That's it. So at least while I'm pulling these little, um, this foam tape off, I can actually go and see what we're... No, that's your phone. <laughs> I can um, that's what's talk and see what y'all are doing. See what y'all are saying. Oh, I'm glad you like the stamp sets. Yep, these are our two newest ones, and they are really uh, popular. I'm so glad that y'all like them. I'm getting a lot of feedback from y'all saying how you love these, and you're super excited to receive yours and and start creating. So that's why I'm trying. I have another video coming out. I think you're, it's super cute. Just some easy crafting. So there's a tutorial that's going to be um, coming out today, later this afternoon. So look out for that too. Okay, with that. So what I'm gonna do now, let me get my glue. Gotta have this nearby, right? My art glitter glue here. Robin Manager says, I'm late on chat. I had my glasses on. I couldn't see. Laugh <laughs> out loud. That is funny. <laughs> Been there and done that. Okay. So you see how that just adds to it? It gives it a little bit more dimension. Um, rather than just laying it flat on there. It's an extra step, but it's so well worth it, especially if you want to make your cards pop. G. Dixon says, thank you for the beautiful coffee shop card that you placed in her fall stamp order. She's most honored. Oh, you're so welcome. We like doing that. <laughs> Dropping those random cards in there. All right. Hey, Denise Glisson. Denise, I'm not even going to respond to that. <laughs> not yet. We got Hi, something. In, we do have something in the works, though. Okay, so here's what we got here. Look how cute that is. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of these bits and pieces of paper. See these little scraps right here? Let's see if I have enough to make what I'm going to make on there. Let's see. These little bits and pieces here. Y'all are seeing this in real time. Just not sure what to do with your scraps. This is going to be a, a fun idea for y'all. I think y'all are going to love it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making, I'm using scraps and making something using the scraps. Because we all have that. One craft supply you know you have as a crafter. 
is scraps. And if you don't have scraps, then you're not crafting enough. <laughs> Get in that room and start crafting. Okay, let's use that. Just going through my little bits and pieces here. Okay, so let's cut this up. Ms. Weston says, will you, will you be doing a stamp set of pumpkins? I already answered that oh, one. You? <laughs> so you're going back. <laughs> Look, my mind is focused, okay? I'm reading. Oh, uh, it. <laughs> um... I can say that that is something that I plan on doing. I'm just not sure when, but that is something that we're planning on doing. I think that would be a fun um, stamp set. Okay, let's see what we got here. See if we have enough of this. If not, I could use something else, right? Y'all, I'm mindless crafting here. Don't mind me. I'm mindless today. <laughs> but I had so much fun in my craft room last night that I had to go ahead and do something, show y'all what I did from last night. So this is just a recreation um, using somewhat similar paper. And we'll see how this works. You're like, what on earth is she doing? Something like that. Something like that. Got this. Just looking through my pieces, y'all. <coughs> see what we got on there. <coughs> oh, really? You all right? Robert Renninger says, I got a much needed card in my order. Thank you. My God is always on time. Yes, he is. I'm so glad it was able to um, perk up your day. Like I said, paper makes me happy. <laughs> and it's so much, and the possibilities are endless with paper. Jessica says, I've been waiting for you to release a fall stamp set because I knew you would. There you the go. The fall step sets are great for fall. Well, thank you. We are trying, okay? I'm trying to put out something fun that y'all would love each time. Okay, so I'm just going to put, put these on here. Just because I think it needs something in the center. Like that, and I need that one to be longer too. Hi, Paulette Evie. She finally made it to the live video. So oh, she's nice. She's at home for the live. What you doing home? I hope you're okay. Taking a little break or what? She's, she's hiding. <laughs> I'm just winging it, y'all. I'm, I'm just kind of. Um, doing this where it's not like everything is not measured you just kind of have fun and play once i start measuring things get a little bit hairy oh she's taking paul paulette is taking a break good for you you deserve to take a break all righty Bill is keeping me on track for time. Some of y'all like. <laughs> Donna Shelley makes a good point. She says there are so many things you can use the fall stamps for. Yes, you can. So other than seasons and yep. reasons. You sure can. I think I'm just going to overlap that. Let's go ahead and start gluing this stuff down. Just don't think about it, right? Just do it. Okay, so I got this right here. I just want to layer the paper to make it look more interesting. That right there. So y'all with me so far? <coughs> Still hanging in there with me. 
You're like, what on earth is she doing? Marlene Watts says, I haven't been able to cut a straight line to save my life. Laugh out. Look, that's why I'm using the patterns in here to cut the line. And they're they're off a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Krista Cobb says, oh my God, Tracy, if paper makes you happy, you'd be a giddy mess in my prayer phone. <laughs> using the it's not only having the paper but also using it what are you waiting for with that beautiful paper packs that you you're storing up in your craft room just go ahead and use it it's going to make someone happy okay so this is what i've got so far but i just remembered i need to stamp inside of this too so let's get a little bit something in the corner here Putting my pen back in the glue. Barbara Lang says she loves that flower stamp on the set. And she's asking, can you do the same kind of thing with that flower as you do with the other flower? Probably that dimensional thing. I think you can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at it too in the little, the lines. Uh, I think it's possible. Yeah. Use the same technique. You know what? If you have to ask the question, <laughs> go ahead and do it. And that'll be your answer. Then let us know. <laughs> and then let you're right. Let me know, Tracy. I used that, and guess what? It worked. I, if it didn't work, guess what, Tracy? I blew up my craft room. It's your fault. Mm. <laughs> Don't do that. Just try again. Basically, <laughs> ah, y'all are too much. So imagine these being like leaves turning, uh, turning a different color um, in the fall, right? It's still got the green on it. And you know, I saw a leaf on the ground, you know, like, and I took, I remember last year, I took, a, as the season was changing, I took pictures as I was walking my dog outside, they were like leaves on the ground. They still had a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the red on the inside. And, and still had, and then it had like the green on the outside. So that's what I'm thinking with these. Just yeah. that little bit of green, like it's just about to turn to tell us fall is nearby, right? Taz Holden says, if it takes too much time prepping, it's not fun by the time you get to the project. Well, you know what? Sometimes in that case, you have to make the prep project the project. You know what I'm saying? Right. The thing you're going to do, you think of as being a prep, make that the project and really enjoy and get into the right. creativity of it and put those things to the side. And later on, when you decide to do a project, you look up at the things you've already prepped and you don't have that stress. Look what happened. On I, your neck. I had ink on my hands, y'all. Look, right? So we're going to cover that up. <laughs> you were prepping. I was prepping only during a live, right? Let me get some of this. A lot of people saying the boot is their favorite. That boot is something else, isn't it? Hi, Lynn I love Kirsch that boot. from England. Okay, I went ahead and had some ink on my hand and got it on my. See? But you always cover it up, right? <laughs> the wonderful thing is that you can cover it up. Oh, here's one here. You can cover this up. Right? Let's do that. Still works. No one's going to say, oh, Tracy has ink on there. And she, someone's just going to be happy to get the card. This is why I like live videos, because I can show you the cover up. <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes, right? And there we go. So that's what we have so far. And Jennifer Real says, it's looking, it's looking so cute, Tracy. Thank you, Jennifer. We're getting there. Okay, so let's take another strip of paper. Let's see what this looks like. Uh-oh, Barbara Mitchell says, uh-oh, my hubby just came with my package from you. Uh-oh. Can't wait to get started <laughs> with the steps. Ah, thanks, hubby. during the live. <laughs> so 
to give his wife her package, right? Here, baby, take these stamps. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to take this, and we're going to go ahead and cut right down the center here. I was determined to use these scraps, didn't know how I was going to use it, but I said, you know what, let me get started and then things will fall into place. Because we always have these skinny strips of paper, right? And this will make a couple of cards without having to use a whole lot of paper. Joanne Gilbertson says, I get ink all over my H when I stamp. I have fun doing. I hope H means hand, not head. That's some heck of a stamping. <laughs> you get it on your head, you know. Oh, this is gonna be adorable. Let's go Especially ahead and like cut you're this making, down. You're heading somewhere, but I have to wait and see what you come up with. <laughs> All right, and let's get another strip for right here, right across the middle there. And notice I'm not measuring everything, y'all. Are y'all still, you see it coming together? Do y'all see this coming together? I think you do. I think y'all are still with me on this. Easy way to use your strips, right? I just realized I didn't need to put glue in the middle, but it'll dry. It will dry. That's a little strip right here. And we'll be good to go. Okay, so... Uh-oh, Tasha's not feeling well. Oh, no, Tasha. See, uh... Get well says, soon. please pray for me. Uh... My right ankle twisted yesterday, busted my kneecap on my left leg. Ooh, 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 I can't ooh, move ooh, my left ooh. elbow. Ooh. And she busted the bus. She must have fallen. Mm. Tasha, everyone's praying for you in complete recovery. Okay, that's what we got so far. Are y'all inspired yet? Are y'all? Are y'all inspired? It's all about shapes and strips of paper. You can do it. This is an easy card to do. Now let's go ahead and get a um, a sentiment because you have falling leaves. So you got the falling leaves happening there. So this is the Hello Fall stamp set. So we're going to go ahead and stamp this out. Marlene oh, Watson says, it looks like I'm looking out a window and watching leaves fall. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's it. That's exactly what it is. You got it. You get some scraps of white paper. I know I have some over here. So let me get some of those. Scraps of white paper, y'all. See, I'm not letting anything get wasted, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put this here. All right, and we're going to go ahead and ink that up. Look how clear that is. Look how clear. Am I excited? Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited about my own stamp sets. I'm still, it still blows me away. Jessica, my mind is still blown. Says, Jessica says you can make a whole series of window fall cards. Yes, you can. It's just so much you can do with, with this. Different you type can, of windows. You can paint your leaves, you know, you color your leaves a different color. Um, 
you can make a it's shaker just so card much. window. You can make a shaker card. That's what I was thinking about when I did this. I was like, oh, shaker card for sure. That would be great. Barbara Mitchell says the six by six paper pad is amazing. I am inspired. Oh, nice. And this makes your paper go further when you use up those scraps. Or, you know, because you don't want to like, don't throw these out. <laughs> scraps are like, scraps are golden. Okay. So let's go ahead and color this in. Get some orange here. So I'm just going to outline this. Right, because you can do this, right? Do a little fussy cutting live. And you can mass produce this card also. You know, you can make a bunch of them. You you know, this is a fun card to make with minimal uh, supplies. It makes your scraps go a long way. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. If you want to, yeah. No, Bill is gonna. I don't um, have enough detail. To... We actually, I forgot. We just actually put a new paper in stock, and Bill just reminded me. Um, do you want to go downstairs and get it, Bill? <laughs> Since you reminded me, you got. <laughs> we actually have a new paper pack from Echo Park. Sure. One is a fall inspired one and one is a homemade, homemade love it's called. And that one, actually Bill just added that this morning. So you just got a shipment in, so. So you see, uh, Paulette, I'm using um, the uh, Tumbo Dual Tumble dual sketch pens. Is that right? I think it's right. <laughs> All right. This is the gives you the effect of looking through a window. Exactly. So now I'm just kind of tying in the colors and making my own little, um, just making some stuff here, y'all. Just making it as I go. Okay. Are y'all ready to see this paper? This paper is so, there's so much you can do with it and you get a lot in just one, in one thing. But I got to do stitching first before I show you the paper. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is called, these are Tumbo dual brush pens. That's what they're called. I was making up my own name. So I'm just stitching around my leaf. I'm mindless crafting, y'all. You can find something to stitch I'm on. I can find something to stitch on. I think you craft just so you can stitch. <laughs> I don't know. Stitching to me is like, it's therapeutic for me. I just like doing it. Okay, so these are Tumbo dual brush pens. All right, so let's see if I want to. I'm not going to cut out that little stem there. I mean, I could, but I'm just going to leave it off. And let's go ahead and fussy cut this. I know I'm going to show you the paper in a moment. <laughs> I got a fussy cut now. I'm on a roll. Uh, Deb McGee says, How do you store your scraps? I get OCD about the clutter. It suggests any suggestions would be helpful. Look, I have mine, and I'm I'm being real. You don't want to know Tracy's. I got mine like in a box right now. I'm still going cleaning up my craft room too, so they're off to the side, um, in a big old box. Some of them are in a plastic container. Some of them are in the shoe box. I got some scraps, y'all. <laughs> yes, she does. I do. So, Bill, how much time do we have left? So far, because we're supposed to be on here for an hour. So far, it has been you started streaming 34 minutes ago. Your time is pretty good. Oh, we're doing good here. Because I love being on live with y'all. We we really love coming on live. It just gives us our I don't know. It just makes us feel happy.
Is this because yeah, Robin Renninger has a doctor's appointment? She says you only have an hour. <laughs> she said that at the beginning. Robin, she's keeping you on track. Robin, go back and look. Don't be speeding off to the doctor's office. No, hold on. Getting back to the scraps. Donna Sally says she has hers sorted by color in plastic zip bag. Lot. What? She's stored in the box. Donna, you are so organized. I would spend all my time just organizing stuff by color. I'd be too tired to to uh, do a project. Look, the window. Imagine a Christmas scene with the wreath using that um the holiday cheer stamp set are y'all tying this all in now you can do or you can do not even a christmas it doesn't have to be christmas now i gotta get the holiday stamp because something just you know what you could get that to squirrel mind. and have him underneath where his head is coming from peeking through the window peeking see? through the window see cut him off at the neck and just have his head <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> cut him off uh, a nose and an eye, something like that. Peace Justice says, thank you so much for sharing your card making. Look at it this. has inspired me as I gave up two years ago and have so many cards and scraps which I was going to give away. Now I'm planning to make my own cards. Exactly, Peace. Look at this. So now you color this in the fall colors. And... I need to probably do a tutorial on this. You color this. How much? How many of y'all would love to see a tutorial on this? You color this. You make this style card, and then you hang the wreath in the window. So I think that'll be fun to do. Yeah. Uh, is that Layla? Layla asked a question. Layla. She said, "Oh, how do I clean my stamps? I use wipes." I've, I've been, yeah, I've been doing these for, I just use non-scented wipes. And there's actually a lint-free, some lint-free wipes, because you don't want to get lint on your um, stamp sets when you're cleaning them on your stamps. But that's what I use. Now, I know there is, like, product out there for, like, that it's, it's for stamp cleaning. I think it's, like, a spray product, I believe. But they have a couple of products for cleaning your stamps. Oh my goodness. Is that Monet? Monet B said the lamp post shining through the window would be nice. Oh my goodness. Yes. So this is how you mix and match your stamps now, y'all. Look at that. That lamp post would be adorable. Yeah, the wreath in the okay, I got that. I'm gonna check that off. The wreath. In the window sounds good. That does sound good. Because you can do a Christmas wreath or you can do a fall wreath. Denise Glesson beats you to the point. Punch. She says, oh my God, I just seen the paper. I love it. I'm going to be getting both of them. Oh my goodness. You went in there already? Okay. Look, <laughs> let me go ahead and <laughs> let me show the paper. Cause, and then I'll start gluing down the rest of the stuff on the card. So here, look at this, y'all. Oh my God. Goodness. It's like 12 sheets. This is so adorable. This, is this my? I need to open this one, don't I? Uh, yes. I'm going to refresh my screen. If your screen has a buffer, just refresh it. Yeah, just refresh it. Let me let me show y'all this. Oh, oops. Did I knock my camera up? Okay. Oh, can y'all see? Yeah, I can see. Oh, look at that. Huh. Just more paper to add to your stuff. And... And I don't know if y'all are like me, but I would use the cover. Look at this. I would use the shape of this. <laughs> this is how my mind is. I would cut out autumn, trace this shape and everything, and I would cut out autumn and use this on the on something, right? I would use all of these images that are on the cover too. That's just me. But look at that, y'all. Oh my goodness. And this is actually in our store. This is the uh, this is called a perfect autumn by Lori Whitlock, and this is Echo Park paper. I absolutely love this, and this is double sided, so you get this is the twelve by twelve. I'm loving this, and so I am just going through this to show y'all what it looks like. Bill is giving me one hour on this live because we have to run out to the post office to get y'all packages out
Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? I love wood paneling. You can do so much with wood paneling. Bill sounds like a card for, me, for you to make. <laughs> he says you could do so much. Especially when it's real wood. Well, why don't you show us, Bill? Look at that paper. In my mind. Isn't that? this gorgeous, y'all? Lynn Curse. She says, I wish I could get that in England. You can. Our store ships worldwide. Yeah, we ship worldwide. So go ahead, Lynn. Go for it, Lynn. <laughs> Hold up. Yes, we do. Okay, Michelle Kerr X. What? I don't know. Know what size acrylic blocks we have? And some people think we don't sell them yet, but actually we do. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Yep, I think so, Jennifer. If he's saying, "Oh, you can do this with that," I think no, he I should, said you he can should do. Show. <laughs> I didn't say I can do. I he, said you can do. But you do such a good job, babe. You do such a good job. <laughs> Uh, look at all of those, because you know you can make cards without um, having to make, having to have a sentiment on it. You can or actually you, make those you, in the sentiment. Yes, you can. That's what I'm saying. You can without stamping a sentiment. You can make a card and use this. And you got this. Look how pretty that is. Uh. There should be a link in the, oh yeah 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 there's a link in the chat yes jennifer they said bill we love your cards so when well, he's showing when he's talking about all these ideas y'all y'all encourage him okay <laughs> look at this the owls oh my goodness can you say teacher cards too teacher cards y'all look at that the owls would be great. Look how adorable those are. Oh my goodness. I gotta get back to my card, babe. Okay, and then you also get you get stickers in this paper pack as well. But look, imagine all of the things you can do with these. You can cut out strips or you can cut out the individual words and use those. Just more stuff to add to your stash. Yes, they're bigger. Uh, Barbara Lang says they're bigger. Yes, yes, these are 12 by 12. Compared to the 6 by 6. Yep. So you have a lot of real estate to play around with. You'll probably end up with all type of scraps. Look at... I, I'm just like... <laughs> you know what? See, this makes me want to do something right now. This one right here, if you really didn't have a lot of time, you could cut out this whole thing and slap slap it on the A2 card. Hey. <laughs> let me write let your me, name on the back and say, good luck, happy, happy fall. Let me write this down. Bill. Let me write this down so Bill can... <laughs> <laughs> let me write this down. You can definitely put it on a tag. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot out of this. You can put these on tags. Especially this bird. I would put that bird on one. I get a paper punch, slap it at the top, and put a, a rope on it, and, and slap that thing in the mail. Oh, look at this. Look at the, just the mason jar alone. Barbara Lang says she bought all of the acrylic blocks from us, and they work amazing. I told Michelle you'd show her those blocks after this real quick, after that one. Well, I got to show this one too, babe. And now you see, he says that we're only going to stay on an hour. We are, but you go faster. But then what all. happens? But they want to really see this, Bill. They really got to see this. I want them to see. It. I know they just see it. They don't have to hear it. <laughs> just see it. <laughs> you know, Tracy's not, not, not spoken like a crowd. Tracy, to look back at me. Because I want y'all to take in everything, you know, so you can see what you're going to get if you decide to buy this. <laughs> they said, Bill, your nails are not as nice as Tracy's. That's because I bite mine off. Look at this, y'all. I think this one might be my favorite. These strips right here. Because I could do so much. Exactly. Oh, blessed beyond measure. I love this. So I'm with you, Deanna. Woo, the cutter parts I are perfect this. for quick cards. That's, that would be me. Yes, they are. I would get it just for that. Yep, and you can add your own little things to them so that to enhance them. So I think that might be a nice little card idea, babe. 
So, how much time do we have left? We've been on 44 minutes. What? <laughs> I think we might go over by five minutes, possibly. Okay, and this right here, last but not least, look at the stickers. And I like to take my stickers and I like to put them on like a stronger card stock and then put them on my, um, my card. Mini albums. These will work well for those of you that like to do mini albums. Chris Look at that. Says one hour isn't enough time. Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and. So we finished with one. Let me let me just put this aside for a moment. We'll put the other one over there. Here's the other one. It's called Homemade Love. And this one is a Cartabella paper. So, so pretty. And I just love the colors just really drew me in. And so that's one of the reasons why um, I put this paper in the store. And so this is Homemade with Love by Karina Gardner. Love it. I've used her paper before also. Donna Sally is absolutely correct. Those acrylic blocks are on sale right now. So, huh? What happened? The acrylic blocks. Oh. Everyone's asking about. Oh, okay. So, Bill is telling me to show the acrylic blocks. So, here's the acrylic blocks. And the nice thing about these is that they have like a little, um, they're, they're thick enough. So, when you hold them, it's like your hand is not dipping in the ink. What bothers me with acrylic blocks sometimes is that they're, if they're too thin, when you try to stamp in that ink, and I and this could be just me because my hands are like big. <laughs> when I try to, my hand slips over the block and goes into the ink. So the thickness, if you're going to purchase a block or if you're looking for a block, that thickness really counts. You know, so you want that, this part here to have a nice little width on it. I'm not, not sure if you can see it. Right, so that when you're holding it, you're not dipping your... I mean, that's just me, though. I mean, that's why I like these particular blocks. And this one is two and three quarters by four inches. And this will hold a lot of your stamps. That's individual. And then you have the two blocks in one package. And these are thick enough also. And you have a little grid in there that you can hold on to, which is pretty nice. So this has two for some of your smaller stamps, and this is for some of the larger stamp images. But I've used larger blocks also to stamp as well. So these are available in our store. And let's get to the homemade love. Okay, so Bill is quiet again, so he must be answering some questions. Numbers reading. Oh, well, there you go. All right. See, I could use this label right here. I'm sorry, but I have to, you know, I can use this label right here, and that can become a template. Well, there you go. I mean, that's just this too. That can become your template. I so like many of you that don't have it. Right. This right here, I would take this, cut this out, so and make cards. I would make cards out of this. Yep. I would make cards I love out that of it. One too, oh, right look here. at this. The recipe. Cards. Oh, I like that uh, the green looking thing. Look at that. What this is says ingredients. Yes, yeah, so you could cut these up and use them. I just like that rustic feel about these. And let's see, any questions? This is 12 by 12 also. And this this is more of a textured paper. I don't know if you I wish you could see this on camera. Oh my goodness. This really is a nice, it. the feel of it. Oh, it, it does, it does feel cool. It, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good, look at this. I am loving this. So for those of you that want to keep, I think making like recipe albums would be nice too. Oh, this is really, I love this. The texture is nice on these. Okay, so 
I feel is something burning, babe? No. Okay. The texture on these are really nice. You might want to go check the stove to see if something's burning. Only during a live, right? <laughs> okay. Ariel's not home. Just make sure the stove is off. Y'all just never know, right? This would make a great recipe book. Something you want to maybe leave for someone or give a gift to. Um, or just have all your recipes in it. Especially with the holidays coming up too. Yes, it would. W. Alicia, Alicia Burris. Alicia B. <laughs> uh, that would make a great one. Look at that. Just trying to show y'all, give y'all some inspiration. Look at this. So you get a lot. I think my hardest part would be trying to uh, use both sides of it. I'm in love with this. Look how pretty those patterns are. Look how beautiful. And they look like they have their distress around they, some of the that's corners. That's the card right there. All, every one of those. Just that is. Cut that it could out, be a card. Put it on, and you're ahead of the ball. But thing. I think especially with the holidays coming up, a lot of people want to put recipe books together. Well, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Scrapbooking. I mean, because I know you, especially, Bill, you remember you were saying, you know, you wish that you would have had some of the recipes that your aunts and your... Um, your grandmother and great grandmother would have left, right? Robert Lane says, "Oh my God, I need those recipe cards for a tag. I'm doing my in my other group." Oh wow! Yeah, look out! Look how gorgeous these are. I'm just <laughs> the texture on these are something else, y'all. Okay, Bill, how long we have? Ten minutes. Oh, look at this! Oh my goodness! This would be great. Look at this, babe. It's got measurements on them. This would be nice. Uh, Decorating stuff with. We started streaming 52 minutes ago. Okay. The polka dots, y'all. That's mine right there. <laughs> ah. I'm in love with these. Look at the blender. This is the old style mixer. I thought that was a toilet stuff. I remember those men. <laughs> Bill, stop. <laughs> oh, now that I look, I can see it's a Bill, cup. Bill, stop. Stop. <coughs> Don't get this man started. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, these papers are $14.99 for the 12 by 12 paper Yeah, I just saw packs. the question. I, I, oh, okay. I was downstairs and people were asking. I am in love with this. Look at the pies. Okay, I'll just turn them over. Ooh. Doesn't do this. I like the that one pattern. underneath that red one that you're about to turn over. Oh the my goodness. One. Look at this. I like this. that one. Uh, I'm in love with this. I love that one. These can be cut into, they're already cut, but just for me, looking at this, I this inspires me to make like a little kind of a mini recipe kind of book. A little one. Wow. Eat, share, recipe notes, best find, favorite food, cook, must bake, delicious, best recipe, let's eat, total foodie, and love. Jennifer Rue says, I can't wait to see what you make of these paper pads. Oh my goodness, look at this. Paulette Evie says, I just ordered the love paper bags from you. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a, a big one that um because especially with Thanksgiving and the holidays coming up, this is perfect. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this with the little tabs on it. Look at that. That is going to be this will be gorgeous. 
Okay, so. All right. Bill got me on we a timer. We have 54 y minutes. I don't think we can make it. 54 but. minutes, y'all, left. If we run over about five minutes, we're okay. Yes, I know Mar Marlene, she heard me pausing. So she said <laughs> she said she could hear the wheels turning, okay? She could hear the wheels turning. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this off. Now I've got another thing to think about because you know that those paper packs just actually um, have inspired me now. <laughs> Sometimes just looking at something can inspire you. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue That's this how I feel on. When I look at you. Oh, you're so sweet. That's a perfect opening, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> You gotta jump in when you can. Ah, <clears throat> He's inspired when he looks at me. Darling, you inspire me. But guess what, Bill? What? Every year I fall for you. It says that? That's what it says on the stamp set. Oh. Bill, I mean, really? Where are you? <laughs> so where I, am uh. I now in the scheme of the year? It's, this is all year round. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, all year Jay. round. Yep. Okay. <laughs> there is no no cutoff. Well, so let's get some sparkly stuff falling from this card, right? See, we did it, babe. We we almost stayed close to the um. Barbara Mitchell says, "Don't worry about time." Many people didn't wake up this morning. You are not lying on that one. Mmm. Lord have mercy. Yep. Well. I am truly thankful to be here another day to share with y'all. Because, I mean, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, how can I be a blessing to someone else? Is that Yasmin? Yasmin says she missed she miss us a lot. Well, we miss you too. We're glad you're here. And look out for the video. I'll be where um, Bill finished editing and it's ready for me to do what needs to be done so we can have it ready to go. Look at that. That just adds just that little bit of something. <laughs> ah. What? She said, the chat said, just imagine all the greasy and chocolatey cards spilled with coffee from the laughter. <laughs> oh, man, Yasmin is from um, Egypt, and it's 7 o'clock there. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. Okay, there you go. Oh, look at Carmina. She said, I was up at 6 o'clock a.m., to do my housework so I can watch your live. Well, you go ahead, Carmina. Jessica says, we have a global crafty family. There we go. Our Cyber Trainer says, are your tutorial videos posted here? Yes, they're on this channel. Yes. Uh, I'm so tempted. I did stitching here. <laughs> ah, I did I did stitching right here, babe. So now I'm gonna go do stitching. I have to, y'all. I know. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. The other card I'm gonna show you doesn't have stitching on it. So you'll see it with, with stitching and without. I know y'all like Tracy. You and that stitching. It's just what I like. I know you have that one thing that you like to add to your cards. Oh, I was in Dollar Tree, y'all. And they've got the fall stuff out. 
they've got the fall stuff out. That's all I have to say. And my eyes went wide in there with the fall things they have. So I'm going to have to take y'all with us live in Dollar Tree. They were stocked, buddy. They were stocked up. They still putting stuff out. Um, so hopefully they'll get more stuff out so I can take y'all sometime this week to Dollar Tree. To my Dollar Tree, my favorite Dollar Tree. So um, look at that. Look at that, y'all. I'm just in love with this card. Simple, simple design. Oh, thank y'all for the thumbs up. And then here's one that I did without the stitching. So, you know, you just decide which one. Just decide which one you want to, you know, which one you want to do. I hope this was simple enough for you to start using your scraps. So imagine now, I'm just going to pull this over real quick. It's exactly one hour. Imagine from this Pile this of pile of scraps that some people I know just kind of throw them out or whatever. I just can't bring myself to do it. From this pile of scraps came a beautiful card, right? You can do it. Jessica says yesterday she was waiting and waiting for the live because she saw that yesterday was Tuesday. Then later on she realized it was Monday. <laughs> It's one of those days. One of those days, okay. Uh, Marlene Watts says, I no longer call it stitching. I call it Tracy's special touch. Bill, I'm going to have to do a video using the wreath. Uh, w Alicia B says, stitching is your signature. It probably is. Tracy has a saying. She always says, when in doubt, stitch, stitch it, out. it out. So if you ever wanted, what, what, what right. should I do now? Well, when in doubt. We could come up with a song. When in doubt. Stitch it out. It sounds like a song, huh, babe? <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, so y'all go ahead and get those scraps out. Start creating. Um, if you haven't gotten your stamp sets yet, go ahead and get them. What are you waiting for? Get your Start your cards. You can come along with me while I craft cards, and you get to make your own. For those of you that are getting your stamp sets, I know many of you have reached out to me and said you just got your stamp sets. You're super excited about it. And I'm excited for you. For real. I'm really excited for you. So thank you so for joining us. We were able to stay close to an hour. We love y'all. 62 all. minutes. And we'll be back on, on Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. But maybe who Eastern knows? It's the standard time. We may just pop in whenever, right? But we're definitely coming on those two days, <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday noon and 12 at 7 p.m. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye. Robin Renninger says she was sitting outside the other day singing the fall song. Oh, we're, <laughs> oh with that note, I will sing one, one verse of that before we go since we made a fall card. Um, I got to remember the words. Yeah, oh, girl, you won't be singing it then. <laughs> it's fall. Feel the breeze. The leaves are gently falling from the trees. Red leaves and yellow leaves. Brown leaves and orange leaves. They're twirling, twirling all around. Gently falling to the ground, we know that fall is here. See you real soon. Bye.